I'm not gonna lie, the Nothing Phones have one of the best looking softwares in the smartphone game. Even if you're not a fan of Nothing, you gotta admit, they came up with a very unique theme that not only looks good, but also manages to stand out from the giant crowd of other smartphone softwares. So I just had to figure out a way to bring it over to my other phones, and I figured it out. I even got a few Nothing exclusive apps working on my Pixel 8. Let me show you how I did it, and in return, just drop a quick thumbs up. First, you have to use monochrome colors on the system level. Otherwise, you won't be able to really get that Nothing OS feel. So to do this, I downloaded and applied one of the official wallpapers that comes with the Nothing Phone 2. I'll drop a link in the description to a Google Drive folder that carries all the official Nothing Phone 2 walls so that you can pick and choose the ones you'd like. Or you can use these exclusive Nothing inspired walls that we created, which also fit in great with the home screen setup. You can download it off my Patreon. Anyway, after applying one of the walls, you can now head to your phone's customization page and change the color theme to the monochrome palette, the black and white one. Some phones even give you the option to enable the monochrome theme no matter what wallpaper you use, so make sure to do that. Now we'll need to modify the home screen to get these nothing widgets and icon packs. Unfortunately, the only way to do this is by switching to a third party launcher. So I recommend you download Nova Launcher because it's pretty much the GOAT when it comes to any extreme home screen makeovers. You should also download the latest 8.0 beta version off their website. From there, you need to get Nova Launcher set up. So first, clear the entire home screen by removing all the icons and widgets and turning off the whole dock at the bottom. Then within Nova settings, I changed quite a few things. I'll leave my backup profile below so that you can quickly restore the same configurations on your device. But just so you know, I changed the desktop grid size to 7x4 because that's around the same size as the Nothing Phone 2. I also removed the page indicator, changed the background color of the app drawer to a dark gray, swapped the logo on the app drawer search bar to this magnifying glass because that's what Nothing did on their phones. I enabled widget overlap, including when I placed down the widget, so it makes it easier to resize the widgets and have them all properly match up. And of course, I implemented the Google Discover panel by installing Nova's Google Companion app, because that's what nothing also does. For the icon pack, I couldn't really find an exact replica, and if you're a developer who makes icon packs, you should consider making something similar to Nothing OS's 2.0 icons, because surprisingly, no one's done it yet. The closest thing I could find is an icon pack called Charcoal, but it hasn't been updated since 2022. And if you're running Android 14, you must download it off APK Pure because it won't let you download it from the Play Store. Still, it has a dark and circular background with white icons in the middle, just like on the Nothing Phones, and it's perfect if you're going for a dark themed look. If you're going for a lighter theme, you should instead use Ash, which is pretty much the same thing, just with inverted colors. Also, since both of these haven't been updated for almost two years, don't be surprised if you find most of your icons not getting themed. Luckily, Nova Launcher does help you out since it automatically generates the same circular background for every unthemed icon when you enable the autogen feature within its settings. So it works out in the end. Now before I move on to the widgets, with any social media accounts and any websites you use, you should never use the same password for all of them because that would be like leaving all your doors unlocked. If one gets breached, they all become vulnerable. But I know remembering every unique password can get tricky, so that's why I always tell people to turn to a password manager. And recently, my go-to has been Keeper Security, the sponsor of this video. It's the most secured, certified, tested, and audited password manager in the world. I mean, everything you store inside Keeper is fully encrypted without anyone being able to access your information. Not even Keeper staff can look into your vault. Only you can. And Keeper doesn't just let you store your passwords. You can also add your credit cards, licenses, passports, or other important files. And when the time comes to log into a website or app, Keeper automatically fills in your login details with a simple tab, freeing you from ever needing to remember your passwords again. It's also not a bad gift idea. With the holidays coming up, maybe you can even give your parents or loved ones a Keeper password manager subscription so that they can also stop asking for the Netflix password. If you're interested, you can get half off personal and family plans with promo code HOWTOMAN. I'll leave the link at the top of the description. Anyways, not to the part you've been waiting for, the widgets on the home screen. 
Everything on these two screens that you see here are widgets. Even the icons. They don't come from an icon pack. That's why they look just like the ones found in the Nothing Phone 2. Now, I didn't want to overcomplicate things and use a crap ton of different widget apps because they would most likely have different colored shades, different fonts, sizes, and more, making it a complete nightmare to have them all match up and line up properly. Plus, you'd have to pay more if I showed off more than one. So what I did instead was download and try all of the third-party nothing widget apps out there and try to find the one that conquers them all. And I came to the conclusion that this app called Nothing 2.0 for KWGT is the best option. Now, it is a KWGT app, so it does require you to download two extra apps, KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key. Plus, it does cost a dollar to download, but I just dropped 150 promo codes for it on my Patreon. And trust me, you will want to download this app because you'll have access to over 100 beautifully themed widgets based around Nothing OS 2.0. Some of them are even exact replicas of Nothing's original widgets. However, there are still some others that are concepts and also look incredible. I used a variety of everything and went with a dark look since the background is already pretty bright. But you can also go with a light theme if you manually change the colors of the widgets within its KWGT settings. I also had to modify their sizes and positions to make them symmetrical and properly sized. You may also need to do the same thing since every phone has a different screen size and aspect ratio. Anyways, starting with the top of the screen, I have a 4x2 widget named N0017. It gives me the same analog clock and weather widget that's found on the Nothing Phone 2. The hand on the clock even animates on its own, which is nice. Below that, I have 2x2 side-by-side -side widgets. The one on the left is a group of quick setting tiles, um, and they do let you open their OS settings when I tap on them. Its name is basically number 5. The square widget on the right is a concept. It shows me the days of the week with the current day being red. Plus, it lets me know how much darkness is left throughout the day. It's pretty cool, and it's widget number 98. Below those is another set of 2x2 widgets. The square on the left replicates Nothing's new pedometer widget, and it lets you keep track of how many steps you took, which is pretty cool. Plus, when you tap on it, it'll open the health app. The widget to the right is a random set of apps, and yes, they do open up. Its widget name is number 38. And finally, all four icons and the search bar at the bottom come from one widget, number 14. It brings this entire screen together and still has the correct icon sizes. On the next page, I have some other unique widgets. The top one is a 4x2 music player named widget number 46, which looks incredible. It shows you everything, including the track info, album cover, seat bar, and it has music controls. It's a concept, but it definitely has that nothing taste. Below that is another 4x2 concept widget with a variety of useful tools. It's widget number 80, and it pretends to show you your most used apps, and they do open up when you tap on them. But it doesn't actually link to your real app usage data, nor does it change the apps to different ones, but it still looks really cool. Then it has your city name to the left, and two extra apps above it to open Spotify and Facebook Messenger. Below that is a square widget named Widget 30, and it just shows you the battery percentage. Finally, at the bottom, you get the same 4x2 weather widget found on the Nothing Phones. It's crazy how close it looks to the real one. Even the little weather icons are dotted, just like on the Nothing Phone 2. And that's my entire Nothing-inspired home screen. Again, my Nova settings are in the description to download for free, so that you can quickly restore them and apply the appropriate widgets to each section. Now, let's go beyond the home screen and show you how to get those Nothing exclusive apps working on your Android. Let's start with Nothing's weather. It has that beautiful monochrome theme with dotted icons and a clean UI. To get it, you can sideload it off APK Mirror. However, you must install an older version to get it to work on your phone. More specifically, version 1.1.2. That's the only one that works across any Android device. And even though this older version was released back in April, it surprisingly still carries all the same looks and features found within the latest 2.0.5 version. The only thing is that depending on your screen size, some shapes could be unusually large than what they look like on the Nothing Phone 2 or 1, but you can fix this by changing your pixel density within the developer options to 411. Nothing also has an exclusive voice recorder app, and surprisingly, the latest version, version 1.6.0, works on any Android device, or at least on all the Androids that I've tried it on. 
It records your voice without a problem, even letting you pause and then scrub through your current recording. You can slow it down or speed it up. It saves everything without an issue and plays the audio back nicely. And of course, you can also download it off APK Mirror. The Nothing Launcher is also something that you can sideload, but this time you aren't getting the latest features because you have to download an ancient version. Basically version 1.0.2, which is one of the first releases back in July of 2022. And yes, it's pretty bare bones. It has some of the first few widgets ever released by Nothing, which is honestly pretty cool. Plus you can enlarge the icons and folders, but the icon pack support is broken. The Google Discover panel is not showing up and there's nothing you can customize. The other alternative that I don't recommend and only works if you're rooted is that there is a Magis module that lets you flash the Nothing Launcher with all of its widgets on any Android device. And yes, some of the widgets work as expected, but I still don't recommend you flash it because it constantly crashes, it doesn't support the Nothing Icon Pack, and the system's recents page will stop working. At least it did on my Pixel device. However, I'm still mentioning it because there could be a slight chance that this problem is only occurring on my Pixel 7 Pro and maybe this mod ends up working flawlessly on some other devices out there. I'm not sure. If you know what you're doing and you want to give it a try, then I'll link the Magis module right below the like button. Just know that I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your device. Anyways, that's how you get a Nothing OS experience on any Android device. Now you can tap on this video to find out all the exclusive features found within Nothing OS 2.0. I'll catch you guys over there. Kapow!